director group at Cray, uh, at Cray Research, um, you know, um, back in 1988. Wow. Uh, so a really long time. What's that? Does Cray still exist? Um, it's now fully assimilated into a Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So, so there, the Cray people are still around, but they're they're no longer. It's a product, not a a company anymore. I it's just asked. I'm from Wisconsin, and they were really a big, oh yeah, Chippewa big... Falls, yeah, Eau Claire, mm -hmm. yep, for sure, yeah, um, yeah. And I actually still live in Minnesota, even though I work for Sandia. I never left Minnesota when I joined Sandia back in May of 1998. Anyway, so I've done a lot of scientific software work in my career, and and in the latter twenty five years or so, I've been primarily a you know a leader of scientific software projects, and so the meta science of scientific software has always been something I cared a lot about, um, uh, because I think it's how we make progress uh, is understanding and improving how software is uh, developed and used for research. And so, um, and and so the you know the and the so social and human, you know, co social and cognitive sciences. I'm not an expert in those areas at all, but I've always worked uh, in the last decade or so, worked shoulder to shoulder with a lot of people who have skills in the space, and you know, with the intent that we better understand, uh, characterize, and improve how scientific software is developed and used for research which is my short uh, definition of what I've been terming uh, research software science. Uh, with, and there's an interesting, you know, small conversation going on in the software engineering world about, you know, is so what is the difference between software engineering research, which is, I think, maybe better established, uh, I think pretty well established, and, and this new term that, that I coined, uh, research software science. And there are certainly some intersections um, but I think there's a difference in, in those two. And, and it's, a, it's, a paper, it's a paper I'm working on to try to understand or try to characterize what I think the differences are. Um, but anyway, so, so I've been focused on that. I did do some workshops over the years um, at St. John's University in Minnesota. Unfortunately, we, the, the university struggled to have, to have sufficient uh, staff. And so, you know, since the pandemic, and so um, they basically just told me we can't do it anymore. Um, and so at least this year, maybe next year, I don't know uh, if it's worth trying to restart or not. There may be other things that happen that come along that, you know, there's a USRC conference now that seems to be well established. Um, although it's mostly focused on RSC work. And so I'm not sure um, if they, how much they would welcome this topic, maybe they would, I don't, uh, I had a paper or sorry, a presentation accepted at the meeting in Chicago, but I ended up not, uh, going to, uh, for reasons that are not, not important at this point, but, and, and I don't have the, an intention to go this year to the RSC meeting in, in, uh, in Albuquerque, just because of timing. Um, but, but anyway, this is still a topic area I'm really interested in. And I would, and I think, you know, if I've said many times in the past couple of years, um, you know, if I had a dollar to give, you know, and, and I could go, go anywhere with that dollar, you know, to improve the quality of the work that we do in scientific software, I would put it into this, you know, this meta science activity. I wouldn't put it into, you know, better software engineering skills or, you know, better support for software. I would put it into this meta science area because I, I think that's where our biggest uh, leverage and opportunities lie uh, overall. Uh, so uh, maybe I'll stop there and see if any of this is making sense. Yeah, okay. so I guess so on, on just on the last piece um, specifically, and I guess thank you, Mike, for... Uh, for yeah. you know, framing this. Um, on the last one specifically, so I'm, I'm the tech uh, co-chair for USRSC this year. Mm -hmm. um, this is, I would say, an area that USRSC would be open to, but not focusing on. Um, but, but sorry, would be open to, but what? But is not focusing on. It's not really okay. specifically. Right. Um, so I think USRSC would see it as 
an area that's that's within scope and and would be okay. valuable, but it's not something that we're specifically asking for for submissions in or necessarily putting into the call of papers as one of the topic areas. Okay, very um, good. That's good to I, know. I went to DERC um, earlier this year in March or something like that, and and this was much more of a topic there that they that they did focus on. Is that um, so, DERC in Germany, Dan? Yeah, the German RSC community. And the UK RSC community, I think, is kind of in the middle where um, it is a focus, but it's not quite as strong a focus as it was in the German one. So, so I think, so I would say that the RSC community overall, I think, sees this as a as a topic. But depending on which country, how prominent it is, maybe differs quite what a bit. Are the, what, what, what do the German? What does the German community use as a? a do they have a, a kind of term they use for this work? For the meta science piece of it? I don't know. Um, okay. That's all right. I was just sorry. I'm not sure. Um, okay. The, who are some of the folks? Uh, is uh, is uh, DLR involved? Who who are some of the people involved? Yeah, DLR is. Uh, let me see if I can um, see if I can find this for a second. Yeah, I, I don't mean to distract you. I can certainly no, that's talk okay. To. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Karina Haupt uh, is one person I've I've connected with. Yeah, that yeah, community. So Right, she she definitely is part of it. I think part of it also is that there's um, well, I I don't I, I guess I maybe I shouldn't say I I think the 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 institutional environment in Germany is just in a different situation than in the U.S. or in the U.K. and and it just seems like that leads to some differences in mm -hmm. in what people think about. Um, okay. I, yeah, so I, uh, I guess just I can put in um, this is the that's the list of contributions and talks that were in the meeting. But I feel like if I uh, I guess the timetable is the thing that I should look at. Um, yeah, so in the timetable, there's um, there were blocks that were called like RSE research. Uh, I'm trying to see how I actually, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. so for example, um, that's one of them. I think there's another one as well. Um, so it, it might be a little bit more research on research software engineers and research software mm -hmm. engineering than research on research software itself. Sure. Um, and I think it's close. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that, so I think that that's one thing. Uh, and then the other thing I was going to say is that, um, uh, oh, and sorry, I guess uh, just since Sean's putting in all these notes, I'll just say that uh, like all well, this is is very strongly opinion. It's not really yeah. fact, yeah, um, or observation or something, or perception. Um, you so the RISA is also interested in in this potentially not um, RISA again, caught, caught. At Sandia. Uh, no, RISA, the Research Software Alliance. Um, oh, thank, oh, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Okay. There, there's a manager at Sandia, the software engineering and research team. Her name is Raisa. So, uh, well, <laughs> that's that's not that's not that no, I, now I know what you mean. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, RISA, um, so RISA has <laughs> currently has a future uh, award from the Sloan Foundation to do a few different things. And one of those things is to investigate a research software conference. Yeah. Um, so as part of that, Michelle has been starting to talk with different RSE organizations and a bunch of other people and trying to say, if it made sense to have some kind of a global RSE, sorry, a global research software conference, what could the topics be? Uh, mm -hmm. How would it overlap with existing events like the RSE conferences going on? Um, and so that I think that discussion is happening now, and the product of that is going to be some kind of a plan, um, but not actually a conference yet, because the there isn't funding to actually do a conference. There's funding to uh, to do the investigation and the groundwork that could lead into something. Um, uh, how is how is USRSC going this year? This is year two, or is, is it pretty robust? The community response. 
It seems like it. It, it actually, um, it, it was a little bit different than we were expecting. So we had uh, less papers than we thought we would have, uh, like basically a pretty similar number or maybe slightly less than last year, okay. um, but, but far more talks and posters than last year. Interesting, okay, so, that's, good. So, that's good. So I think part of what we think, but I, again, this is just a guess, is that there was a bit of backlog of people that yeah. wanted papers and, and they wrote them last year and, and we yep. don't have backlog anymore. So now we are in more, maybe more of a little bit of a steady state. Yep. Whereas uh, people that didn't go to the conference but want to, that need something for the conference, find it much easier to propose a talk or a poster. Yep, for sure. Very good. Uh, That's yeah. good. Yeah. So I think so. And in the number, we had 250 last year in Chicago, which was a space limit. Uh, the, in Albuquerque, we're, we'll be at 350 uh, in terms of a limit. I don't know where we'll end up in that. Uh, it's still quite early registrations, but. So I'm hoping we'll come pretty close to the 350. Yeah, yeah. The the part of why um, you know I so I'm retiring officially from Sandia on October 1st of this year. I'm not leaving the community, but I'm but I'm transitioning to a different you know, situation, and so that's that's a bit disruptive in some of the you know the things that I'm doing. You know, I, for example, I would have gone to USRC in Albuquerque, but, but for my retirement and, you know, not wanting to deal with one more thing after yep. retire. Um, there, just on the, on the event side again, for, for a second, there is also, um, so at, at the RC conference this year, there'll be an announcement about the one next year. Um, it will almost certainly be somewhere on the East coast you know, having been in Chicago and then kind of West in the, these two years, then try to do East next year. Right. Um, That's good. And yeah, so I think that it's seen as going at least one more year. Um, it seems to be uh, sustainable as far as we can tell. So I, I don't see any reason that it can't continue as long as there are people that are interested. Um, yeah. on, on Michelle's side and the Risa side, um, I'll just mention like a couple of the other things that she's, that we've kind of talked about. Uh, one is the, the activity that was called WAS, um, which was, uh, workshop on science sustaining scientific software sustainably or something I, I can never remember exactly there are like two sustainabilities in there and a bunch of s's um, mm -hmm. and so that's that's one that the Dutch um, um, organization uh, e-science e e e center the e-science center but it actually is more the archiving center which um, I oh. can't remember the name of um, okay it was more kind of them leading it than the science center. All the science center was certainly involved as well. Um, so that that was another one, and uh, and I feel like there's been a few other ones as well. I guess like the the Chan Zuckerberg um, open source event that just happened a couple of weeks ago is one where where it's kind of half a PI meeting and mm -hmm. half a open source meeting more generally, and yeah. so we've been talking a little bit with them as well about different things we can do. Um, there's yeah, there, there's, yeah do, but. there's also been at uh, the PASC meeting um, in, in Switzerland, PASC, the Platform for Advanced Scientific Computing meeting. We've had a thread in this area for the last several years. Um, there, there's also a real possibility with the High Performance Software Foundation of having a software conference scientific software conference. Um, and and this, this could be a theme, you know, one of the themes in that conference too. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so uh, HPSF is, uh, is part of Linux Foundation as well. If, um, yeah, so. that's right, yeah. Um, pass, yeah, I, I don't, sorry, Mike, were you, were you at PASS this time? I don't remember. I, I couldn't go, my wife had knee surgery, so oh, I right. had, to, but I, but Jim Willenbring went and, yeah. And, you know, on my behalf and give a talk. Okay, yeah, so I, I would say PASC was a little, it, the software part of it was a little bit weaker this year, I think, than the past year. Uh, years. Yeah, I, um, yeah, from what I could tell in the program, yeah. So, um, and, and at least, I don't know, I, 
I think we've done a good job of getting software in and software related things into the mini symposium, but I'm not completely sure we ever really got it into the main program in yeah. terms of getting any any real papers or any anything there. So and, and yeah. whether or not that's important, I don't know either. But yeah. Um, yeah. So anyhow, so that that was all that I was gonna say is just a kind of on the event side. Um, yeah, I think as as time goes on, um, you know, this this topic will become more important. More important, I think. I you know, I see there are many forcing functions that are going to make the human element of our activity more important. One is, you know, when it comes to software engineering, um, that you know, we've auto we're automating so much of the actual mechanical aspects of producing and maintaining software. That you know the 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 relative skill the relative uh, resources we need for the mechanical piece of it are are I think will go down substantially over time, and that means that you know if you look at the distribution of resources and what it takes to produce and maintain any kind of software, but specifically research software, scientific software, um, the more the portion of money that you can focus you know. Uh, uh, um, Put on the human aspect of it, which is the design, right? The you know uh, user experience, uh, developer experience, you know all all of these things that have to do with the human aspect of it. I think that's just that's where our our investments are going to go increasingly. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. I mean, I think the other the other part of this, I guess, a little bit is. Um, it's just there's the AI piece as well. Yeah. Um, the amount of AI papers that have emerged in the last 12 months is staggering. Well, yeah. I, well, and, and it's because of generative AI, the things that I mentioned are going to happen, right? Yeah. Because the AI tools are, 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 are the tool things that are automating all these things we care about. There are also some really interesting questions with AI. What, you know, what does it mean to have a piece of software? When, when you know, it's an it's an in, inference engine that's just essentially a, a comma separated, you know, values file, CSV file, you know, with some metadata about the structure of the of the neural network. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's really an interesting question. We're not, you know, we're not talking about source lines of code that people can go and take a look at. We're talking about huge volumes of edge graphs, you know, graph weights. Mike, I'd like to, uh, uh, this meeting is officially over it now, but okay. I, would like, I would like to learn more about um, how you're conceptualizing or how you've conceptualizing this research software science meta, meta science area. And I'm- Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I nearly enough time to ask you all the questions that I'd wish to. Yeah, I, I have written a, a paper, uh, a couple papers now on this. Um, I'm happy to send you pointers. I'm not quite sure how to get, you know, send it to you. I guess um, maybe if you if you Probably don't mind, like, putting... okay, fine. Uh, well, uh, your name shows up as Chaos Community, so I don't, I don't have oh, your oh, name. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> That's I'm so right. sorry. I forgot about. I forget when I log in that I have to do that. Yeah, it was just me and Claude at first, so I guess I forgot. So yeah, yeah I'm I mean, you, you could just put it in the chat, um, yeah. for example, and then I can let me find it. Hey, Sean, one. when you get those, would you uh, update the the minutes so we all have the pointers? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. I need to drop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's, I guess that's the other thing, Mike, is if you have something that has a DOI or a link, you could just add it to this Google Doc. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Oh, I see. Then here, hang on. Let me, I get, before we sign off, let me capture the link to that uh, quick. Uh, let's see. So just want to create an email to myself real quick. Okay. I think I found a 2022 IEEE paper. In the Google yeah, there should be a size um, computing and science and engineering paper. Is that what you're seeing? Research science expanding the impact. Well, here I'll just move it over here. Yep, that's that's one of them. Yep. 
So I found this one. Yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that was in the, one of the RSE special issues. Um, that was in a, um, a, a college of a workshop special issue. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a special issue on uh, the college of a workshop. Uh, let's see. That, and that might actually, I think that's the only one that's published. Um, trying to, oh, um, oh, I know what I, I also had a, a blog in the bssw.io. Yeah, this is something else that I that I, I worked on. Um, Quite an ugly URL shot. Yeah, uh, that that is that first one is pretty. That's I triple URL. I didn't cause that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think those are the, those are, and then there's, like I said, there's also a blog article for, from bssw.io that I, that I wrote some years ago. Yeah, if, if you have a link to that, you could throw it yeah. there. Might yeah. Be awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see here, I should be able to find it quick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Mike's looking that up. I gotta say, Bill, you have the most Zoom friendly dog I have ever seen on my many Zoom calls with dogs. Not a <laughs> peep. <laughs> yeah, she, can, she can bark though. Yeah. <laughs> Just sure if like the male person came to the door or something like that, maybe. Yeah, it, so here's, uh, I'll put it in the, the Zoom chat. Oops. Okay. Yeah, another really long URL. But, oops. Um, and this is kind of an early version of, you know, similar to the paper that you, the size paper that you have a pointer to. That's great. I'll throw that in the notes too. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Bill. Oh, looks like Dan beat me to it, probably. Yeah. Thank you. I also like DOIs. Oh, the, the DO. Oh, that's a much friendlier URL than the one I found. Yeah. All right. Very good. Any, anything else? I, I have another meeting in a few minutes. Yeah, I no, should do too. Yeah. No, thank you very much, Bill. I really appreciate you uh, being Mike. sharing everything that you did. And uh, Dan, thanks for getting Bill into the Mike. Mike, you mean to say Mike? Oh, Mike. I don't. Yeah, sorry. I said Bill about the dog. No problem. I, I, I'm. 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 No, no problem. I understood. What you're... <laughs> thank you, Mike. <laughs> sure. Sure. All right. Very good. Well, if there are opportunities to engage in the future, I'm I'm interested. Um, like I said, I'm a bit distracted with uh, retirement planning from Sandia. It's actually a lot of work to to retire um, from a from a place I've been at for 26 years. So uh, handing off everything and wow. all that kind of stuff, and emerging on the other side uh, from it. So, but it's all good. Yeah. Well, good luck, and um, you. Yeah. If you're open to it, I'm sure you'll be consulting for them post-retirement. <laughs> yeah, I'm already arranging other things uh, that, that will pay a little bit better, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Very good. So, all right. Nice to chat with you all. Nice Take care. You. Yeah, bye-bye.